Hi, friends. Welcome back. I'm Miss Tara, and this is Miss Crystal. Uh, what are you doing, might I ask? I'm trying to write my name, but I don't want to put down the ball. Uh, you know it might be easier if you put oh. down the ball and let it go. Okay, uh, I will. <laughs> Woo. You were right. It is much easier to do this task now that I don't have the ball in my mm -hmm. hands. <laughs> that reminds me about our Bible lesson today. Mm -hmm. When we get our feelings hurt, it is sometimes difficult to think about or do anything else. In fact, it can become all that we think about and it can make us wish that mm -hmm. feelings could just magically disappear. Yes. When that happens, it can be as if we are holding onto a big, giant ball and yeah. we're trying to get something done. Yeah. When we learn to forgive, it is just like letting go of the ball that we were holding. Right? So why don't you guys try holding a really large object? Maybe you have a ball like I had at home or maybe a bunch of cup pillows mm -hmm. or some blankets. Try holding them and see what you can get done around the house. Maybe you can try trying your shoelaces or one. trying to get a snack or maybe playing a video game. Can you do that while you hold on to a big item? Why don't you pause the video and give that a try? Well, that was tricky. Yes. At the very least, you probably noticed that when you're not holding onto those big items, the tasks are much easier. Way easier. Let's look closer at our Bible lesson to hear all about true forgiveness. Right, our Bible lesson starts in Mark 1, verse four to 11. This is where we learn that John the Baptist was a very popular mm -hmm. prophet who was baptizing people with water and teaching all about yeah. forgiveness. But guess what? Those people had to keep returning mm -hmm. to John to get baptized over and over and yeah. over because they kept making poor choices and they kept hurting each other. John the Baptist knew that people could not live a perfect life. He knew there had to be a true savior who could baptize us with the Holy yeah. Spirit and who will forgive us of our sins. And that person, is Jesus. Mm -hmm. When John the Baptist met Jesus, he asked Jesus to baptize him. But guess what? Jesus said that he needed to be baptized by John. So John baptized Jesus. And when he did, the yeah. sky opened up and God spoke and said, you are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. In that moment, everyone knew that Jesus was the son of God. And he was the true savior yeah. of the world who had come to forgive us of our sins. That is really amazing. It really is. If the sky opened up and God spoke to you, what do you think he would say? That would kind of be crazy mm -hmm. to see. Can you imagine though, if Jesus didn't want to forgive mm. us of our sins, that would be really sad. Have you ever been so hurt by someone that you didn't want to forgive that person? Mm. I know <laughs> it's I've- been hard. It's been really hard. I've had that feeling. We've all been hurt by someone, and sometimes it's not easy to forgive. But because Jesus forgave us, we can forgive mm -hmm. others too, and he can help you with that. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we all need forgiveness, and Jesus is the only one who can forgive us of our sins. Yep. When he died on the cross for us, he wiped them all away. Did you know that when you're baptized in water, it's the kind of baptism that John the Baptist did? Yeah. It's the way for us to tell God that we are truly sorry for our wrongs that we have done, and we want to start a clean new life. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't need to be baptized because he had no sin. Right. But he wanted John to baptize him anyways to show us that we all need forgiveness. Exactly. In Acts 19, verse 1 to 7, Paul reminds us that baptism by water is a symbol. Mm -hmm. The water gets us soaking wet, but it doesn't really take yeah. away our sins. What we really need for that is a baptism of the spirit, mm -hmm. which is kind of a change that happens in your heart. And the only one who can truly change our hearts and truly forgive us of our sins is God. Mm -hmm. God makes forgiveness available to us when we believe in Jesus. And that is not all. Because we have forgiven, we can now learn to forgive others mm -hmm. as well. One way that we can begin to learn about forgiveness is to ask for it for ourselves. When we mm -hmm. pray to God, we can ask him to forgive us. He hears us. And when you are praying, you can also ask God to help you 
become a person who is good at forgiving others. Yeah. And another way is to read the Bible. Let's look at our memory verse. I will say one line and you repeat after me. Will do. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. I am the way. I am the way. And the truth. And the truth. And the life. And the life. <laughs> no one comes to the Father. No one comes to the Father. Except through me. Except through me. John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. Before we go, let's take some time to pray. Dear Lord, Thank you for sending us Jesus so we can know what true forgiveness is. Lord, we ask that you help us to become a better person who can forgive other people as well. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen.